Hey guys, um, so today I'm doing something a little different. I'm doing um, the second in a series of games I plan to do called Why Did I Play This? Um, if you haven't seen the first one, that one was of me playing Sexy Serial Killer. Um, that game was messed up, but actually it turned out to be pretty entertaining. I am just saying. But for this one, I'm going to play, um, it's called Perfect Apocalypse. I can't say it right, but like paw, like cat, right? Um, so, just for the record, I'm not into anything furry, but by furry, I mean like the furry thing, the hobby that people dress up as animals or whatever they do, I don't know. It creeps me out, but if you're into that, that's fine too. Like, I don't care. So, anyway, this game says Olive finds themselves in the midst of an apocalypse that has summoned demons to their school. Almost every student has been slaughtered, which means there are only so many dogs you can choose between to spend your last few hours with. Um, so this is a dog dating... dog venture fiction game. Um, I believe the main character is a dog, so that would make sense as to why they're dating dogs. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's go. Dot dot dot. It's been a while since I've heard anything outside. I think whatever was in the classroom left a while ago, but who knows how long it's been. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. I've been slowly coming to terms with my own demise, and I'm totally ready to die. I'm sick of just sitting here and contemplating death. No more waiting around, slowly starving all alone in this dumb closet. I think the only way the end could be sweeter is if I could spend it with that special someone. Who that special someone is, I have no idea, but I sure won't find them just sitting around in here. I'm gonna find someone to make this the perfect apocalypse. Okay, so let's leave the closet. We're gonna come out. Well, um, Olive steps out of the closet. The electricity is out, and they're surrounded by their wonderful but dead classmates. Yikes. I'm out. <laughs> She's out of the closet. Get it, guys? Oh no, maybe I should go back in. Uh, should we put her back in the closet? No. Uh, let's go to the bathroom. Uh, that would be great. Oh, okay, so she wants to... We can check the dolls or go somewhere else, so let's check the stalls. Olive looks under one of the stall doors. Hello? There's a gutted dog on the toilet seat. She's very dead. Dot dot dot. So that's what a bloodhound looks like. Ha! <laughs> uh, bloodhound, get it? He he he. Olive hears some cute giggles and snorts from the next stall over. Oh my dog, now's my chance. Uh, prompted joke. She died the way she lived. Empty and alone. The stall door swings open, revealing a happy little corgi. Wow, great joke. Who the heck are you? Oh shoot, I'm being rude maybe. My name's Brownie, but not because I'm hiding in the bathroom. My parents just love <laughs> taunting me with the little things I can't have. Brownie, bathroom. Uh, now who the heck are you, and how are you doing? Good. I'm Olive, and I've come to terms with my own death. It's a good thing. Oh sweet, I was kind of thinking that dying was better than hiding in this stinking bathroom all day. Imagine all the things you could get away with, knowing you're on the cusp of death. You can harass as many male men as you'd like. Restraining orders mean nothing in hell. <laughs> so they're going to hell. And I could eat all the bacon strips and Ma wouldn't have the heart attack. The heart to stop me, not attack. Or even. Oh. My. Dog. Chocolate. We need to eat chocolate before it's too late. It's hard to find chocolate lying around a high school full of dogs. But with your help, 
we might be able to score some. What do you say? Yeah, we're gonna help. Well, I just want to spend my last moments with someone nice. It doesn't really matter what we're doing or how we die, as long as we're happy. Ah, oh, what the heck? That's so sweet. Let's check out the cafeteria. Lunch Lady Piggy might have some chocolate lying around in here. Okay. Cafeteria then. Awesome. It's all unlocked and everything's here. If we don't find any chocolate, we can still snack ourselves into a coma. Yes, I'll start searching. Right after I have some of those bacon treats. The two dig around behind the counter, munching occasionally. Oh my dog. Here it is. Brownie presents a dark chocolate bar. I heard dark chocolate is extra bad for you. Wow! Hey, is death by chocolate painful? Haha, <laughs> who cares? I'm sure whatever pain we feel will be cancelled out by how awesome this is gonna taste. Duh. Let's eat it at the same time. Okay. The two begin munch munching on chocolate. It's bitter, but so good. Mmm, crunchy. Ugh. Whoa, I didn't think it'd kick in so suddenly. Oh no, does it hurt? Nah, it's not so bad. I'm kind of scared. I don't know, how are you feeling? Brownie pukes up blood. <laughs> okay. Uh, Brownie? Hehe, <laughs> it's okay. This is what I signed up for. Oh, I feel sick. I don't think the smell of blood and chocolate mix very well. <laughs> hold her paw. Let's hold her paw. I wanna hold your paw. Okay, I can't sing. Sorry, guys. Um, Olive holds Brownie's paw. I'm not dead yet, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. This is really cute. Thanks for doing this with me. It's way better than dying alone, even if it's a bit uncomfortable. Yeah. I'm glad I got to meet you. We'd make good friends. Thank you, Brownie. The two die slowly together. No! That's what happened? We died? <laughs> okay, well, let's play again. Clearly, there are different endings. And dying from eating chocolate is just one of them. We'll just slide right past here. Leave closet. Okay. Ugh, as if cafeteria food wasn't gross enough. Now there's brains in my grains. It's like the walking bread up in here. And no one's allowed to laugh at my dumb jokes. It's okay, I'll laugh. Um, let's see here. Did we choose to eat the chocolate? I think we did. That was a bad idea. Um, let's go to the basement. It's locked. Okay, the basement's locked. Hmm. Um, let's go to the library. I don't know why this is such a hard decision for me. The library's totally empty. I mean, of the living. If I really wanted to, I could just lock myself in here and read, free of judgment all day. And all night, and week, until I starved and died. I guess I could eat the leather-bound books. Hello, puppy. Ah! Oh, hello. Ah ha, sorry I startled you. My name's Patches. I was just excited to see somebody who was actually alive. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but I don't care. Oh, yes. Uh, I am alive, and so are you. Wow, we have so much in common. Yes, I suppose we do. So I overheard you talking about eating books. You overheard me talking about eating books? Yes, uh, that is what you're here for, because I have a few recommendations. Here to eat books, not here to eat books. Well, let's eat books. Sure, I can eat a book. Hee <laughs> hee, you're so nervous and cute. You, uh, don't really want to eat books, do you? You're just being polite. Ha ha ha! Sorry, I'm so awkward. Ugh, and saying I'm awkward, it's just making me come across as even more awkward. Oh, what's your name? Olive. Nice to meet you, Olive. Quite the predicament we're in, huh? You must be stressed. Is there something you'd like to do before the world ends? Hold pause, read. 
Well, we held pause the last time, so let's read. Well, I mean, reading with you would be nice. I mean, reading is nice. I mean, hehe, <laughs> you really want to spend the rest of your life reading? Uh, I just got to thinking, this might be a chick. Dog, and I'm talking in a really weird voice, but I don't care. Uh, you must be in a really bad place mentally to want to do something like that. Here, I have an idea. Patch just gives Olive a big hug. They're totally flustered. Wow. Do you feel better now, or do you still want to read now? Read books. No, I think my life has been fulfilled. Thank you, Patches. Happy to help. Hey, I know we just met, but I haven't met someone nice in a while. Mostly because everyone's dead, but because I'm usually pretty introverted. Since you're so nice, could you do me a favor? Sure. What is it? It's a surprise. Uh, yes, surprises. Oh, absolutely. You name it. Olive's tail is wagging. Wow, really? Anything? Yeah. Ooh, you're so eager to please. Maybe you're nice enough to not judge me for this, but I really like cats. They're so soft, but I've never pet one before. Uh, I saw one wander into the school, but I've been afraid to go find it. It might be safer if we go together, or at least a lot more pleasant than going alone. Will you join me? Uh, yeah. Of course, cats are cool. You're cool. I'm super happy doing anything as long as it's with you. If that's okay. Wow, thank you. I have a hunch the little kitty went into the basement. It's probably the only place that doesn't reek of death. If you get scared, feel free to hold my paw. Okie dokie. So, I think it was locked, right? Oh, here, let me get the door. Pat just pulls a key out and unlocks the basement door. He holds the door open for Olive like a true gentle dog. After you. Okay, it is a he. My bad. Ooh, this place looks spooky. I don't want to go down there. Talk to Patches. Patches, can we please leave? Oh, Olive. Nope. Patches throws Olive down the stairs. Oh my god. Olive lands in front of a robed figure. Ow! What the... Hey, Coco. Long time no see. How's Angel doing? Glad to see you again. What can I do for you? Goddamn, I... Sorry, I... I have this Google device that will randomly go off sometimes... What's the problem? ...when I say things, and it creeps me out. Whew. Anyway. Coco. You? Was it you all along? Coco is a 2017 movie directed by... Oh my god. Uncle, ...starring Anthony Gonzalez, Gail Garcia... Bernal, hey, Google! Avengers stop! Sorry about that. Um, how could you? He was just a kid. I'll kill you like I killed every dog in this school. So Coco's the murderer. Hey now, don't take credit for all of them. And don't act so high and mighty in about Angel either. It's your fault for being so inattentive. Who knows, maybe you can save him if you paid attention to him like I did. I'll kill you. Urgh. Oh no, what are you doing? Shh, Olive. I just really love cats. Actually, I kind of like puppies too. Okay. Okay, we can run or fight. Let's fight. Fudge off. Whoa, language. I'll punch his patches. It does nothing. And violence too? I thought you were a good little puppy. You're a psychopath. Aha, <laughs> words hurt, Olive. Not as much as this, though. Ah! Boring! You should run away next time. It'd be a lot more fun. Why, Patches? Why? I thought you were nice. Oh. We made Patches really happy. That's something, right? Alright. Let's do another ending. Okay. Leave a closet. Okay, so we've been to the bathroom, the library, and the cafeteria. So let's go to the gym. The gym's full of handsome dogs who are probably all really nice and talented, but they're all dead. Oh, it looks like they left behind their lunch bags. Ooh, I shouldn't eat their treats. It feels really disrespectful. But sitting in a closet sure makes you hungry. Ooh, should we eat their treats? Let's eat them. Olive munches on some treats. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 
Olive grabs a water bottle but is interrupted by a loud thunk. Ah! Ah! Run! Help or hide? Um... Hide. I'm sorry. Olive throws the water bottle in the air and runs to hide behind the bleachers. A bit of water hits the demon and it sizzles. That's it. Sparky grabs the water bottle and splashes it on the demon. It sizzles and slinks away, dissipating. Phew. That worked? Yeah. Why didn't I think of that? I mean, these things are obviously some sort of cat demons. Oh, I'm, s I'm sorry for hiding. You could have gotten hurt. It's alright. I didn't think you'd be able to help anyway. I mean, not that you don't seem capable. It's just that nothing works on these guys. Except water. Anyway, I'm Sparky. What's your name? Are you okay? I'm good. I'm okay. My name's Olive. I've been trying to find someone to spend the apocalypse with. I mean, someone alive, like you. Hee hee hee. It's really scary being alone here. Oh wow, Olive. You poor thing. I'll protect you. Uh, I tried to protect the others too, but they were picked off pretty quickly. Uh, if I had to guess, there's only a few of us still alive. He has two different colored eyes. Uh, but it's important not to lose hope. We found our way out of this mess. Really? Yeah, we have the solution. Water! Oh, yeah. And it'll be way easy with the both of us, right? Uh, agree. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, what do we do? I think we can flood the school by breaking some water pipes. There's some exposed by the basement. And if we can find any survivors along the way, that'd be a big help, too. Sounds good. I'll try my best to protect you from now on. Same. Okay, so we need to go to the basement? Alright, let's do this. Sparky beats the crap out of the water pipes with his hockey stick. The pipes burst. Ugh, it's cold. Ugh, I hope it was worth it. A loud scream is heard from the basement, shocking Olive and Sparky. The scream becomes unintelligible yelling. What is that? I'm not sure. Maybe we should check it out. Ooh, open basement door. It's locked. Maybe there's some... Maybe there's a key somewhere in the school. Okay. Oh, a key. Hmm. It's locked. Maybe there's a key. Okay. Classroom? This is the classroom I hid while everyone was getting slaughtered. I'm sorry, it must have been hard being so close to all that. Sparky gives Olive a big bear hug. Olive's tail wags. That's adorable. So, I don't think there's a key here. Uh, bathroom? Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? A small corgi bursts the door open on the furthest stall. Oh, my dog. Am I happy to see you guys? I was just about to start to eating toilet paper. I'm Brownie. How are you? I'm Sparky, and this is Olive. H hello We're looking for survivors who can help us put an end to this carnage. We won't force you, of course, but if you'd volunteer, that'd be a big help. As a student of Hakiko High, it's our duty to uphold the canine code of conduct. A helping paw does wonders for all. I always say that. So? Huh? What? Oh, that's so lame. I've only heard Miss Beagle recite that line. Oh, my dog. So you won't help? Look, he's crying. <laughs> well, of course I'd help. But this is the apocalypse we're talking about. How are you going to stop a force of nature? What's your plan? Um, we have a plan. We have a plan. We flooded the school to ward off all the water-hating cat demons. And then now, we're going to listen in on whoever's screaming in the basement. Screaming in the basement? Who the heck is screaming? Uh, we're not sure. But it might help us unravel the mystery if we go down there and try to find out. Hmm. It's hardly a plan at all, but it sounds like the only weed we've got. I'll totally help you guys. Yay! Welcome to the team, Brownie. Okay. Well, this is definitely a different outcome. It seems like maybe we can go gather all the people in the school and form an alliance. So I think that's what we need to do. Um, let's go to the cafeteria. Hello? Is anyone there? No one's here. Looks like they're all dead. Okay. Um, hmm. Hello? Is anyone there? It's us. 
the Hachiko High School Guardians. What? I made it up just now. Hello, puppies. Ah, oh, this guy's bad. Oh, sorry to startle you. Wow, I didn't think I'd ever see so many people alive in one place. I'm Patches. Who are all you? Uh, we're here to save your life. You in or out? Excuse me? I'm doing just fine here in the library. How did you all manage to survive? With the help of my friends. I had a lot of snacks in my pack. By hiding in a closet. That's precious. What's your plan then? Eat snacks with your friends in a closet? Don't make fun of us. How do you manage to survive? Hiding under dead bodies like some kind of freak? Yes, actually. And do you know how I clean the blood off my uniform? Blep. Blep. Ha, ah, very funny. I think I've seen you around school before. You're always alone and staring at people, weirdo. Stop, you're being mean. It's making me sad. All is right. We can't work together if you two continue bickering like this. Sorry. He he he. Work together. I don't think I'm interested. We're all doomed anyway. I think I'll just spend my last moments here reading. Really? Patches, we have a plan. Don't you want to hear it? No. I don't want to make it out of here. Brownie's right. I'm always alone. I don't want to return to a world where I'm still alone. So go on without me. Good luck to all of you. Shoot, wait. Patches, I'm sorry. I was being a bitch. You're not alone. You have us. It's okay, Brownie. You were just stating facts. Now please, all of you leave. Alright, let's head out. We'll come back for you when this is all over. Patches, you're not a weirdo. All of you just patches a big hug. He pats their head. Hee <laughs> hee, I know. Go on now. Okay, well Patches is a weirdo, but she doesn't know that. There's no time to waste. Let's get going. Okay, so we've been everywhere, right? It's locked. Okay, so where's the key? Uh, remind me later. Sorry. Uh, Windows thing popped up telling me to restart. Classroom's empty. Was there a key somewhere? Where would the key be? Oh, oh back in the closet. Maybe there's a key in the closet. Ollie, what are you doing in there? I just wanted to relive my golden days. Olive's paw brushes up against a cold metal object. What? What was that? Oh wait, it was just a key. Olive gets a key. Awesome. I bet that'll come in handy. So we can save this game. We can save our progress. I'm gonna save it really quick. All right, it's saved. Okay, so we got the key, so basement. It's locked. Olive uses their key on the basement door. It unlocks. Wow. In our basement. I think I hear someone. Listen. Olive peers around the basement entrance. A black cat sits in front of a strange, glowing drawing. Ugh. Where is this water coming from? Is that the cat? Meow. Upstairs. Yeah, I know that. I mean, why? Why now? We need to move the circle. Oh my dog, you'd think we'd have found that punk by now. Whatever, there should be chalk in the classroom. I can use it to redraw this stupid circle. With the wave of the black cat's wand, the two teleport out of the basement. Dot, dot, dot. I think they're gone. Do cats really do say satanic, satanic, stuff like that? Well, I don't want to reinforce stereotypes, but maybe just this once, yeah. Uh, I wonder what they're doing. I have a feeling they aren't bad cats. Maybe they're just trying to stop the apocalypse. We'll need to talk with them to find out. You're kidding me, right? They can be the ones behind this so-called apocalypse. They said they were looking for someone. They probably want him dead, even if it means slaughtering the entire school, which, um, kind of includes us. That, or they just really hate dogs. Maybe both. Either way, they're probably not interested in a friendly chat. Unless we offer them something in return. So you're suggesting we help them. But whoever they're looking for is probably dead. Well, if they're still looking even after all these dogs have died, then whoever they're looking for must still be alive, right? Hmm, I hope so. Trust me, let's find these cats and offer to sniff out whoever they're looking for. With three dogs and an actual sense of smell, they can't possibly turn us down. And if it turns out the dog they're looking for is one of you, then that'll save some time also. 
I'm not. Ha ha ha. Oh wait, what did that say? Ha ha, I'm just kidding. I know y'all cool. Okay. He <laughs> he. It sounds like uh, you got a handle on this brownie. I'll leave the talking to you. Okay. Okay. So where did they go? We have to go find them. Uh, wait. What? Someone's following us. What? Don't worry, Olive. I'm pretty sure it's another survivor. Ghosts don't have footsteps. Wait. No, 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 no. Let's keep walking and keep quiet. Why? We've searched the entire school, and I'm pretty convinced the only people left alive are the three of us. Uh, those cats and Batches. I bet Batches is following us. What? Why would it matter if Batches is following us? We should let him. If you don't like him, then maybe you should leave. Olive, don't say that. He's crying again. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying I'm against Patches joining, but look how far we've walked with him following us. We're not outpacing him. He's trying to trail far enough back for us to not notice. Isn't that suspicious? Olive growls softly. Please trust me. We're friends. Let's cut in and out of the rooms to try to lose him. Well, what do you think, Olive? Hmm. Quick save. Trust Brownie. Okay, I trust you. Thank you, Olive. If somehow I'm wrong and Patches isn't a bad guy, I owe you and him a handwritten apology. Okay. So, let's see. Are we still in the classroom? Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> Trying to lose me, huh? That's pretty fucking rude. Damn it, Olive. Brownie, run! Patches? Should we run or fight? Fight. We can beat him together if we work together. Brownie grabs all his paw and starts running. Uh, Brownie, we have to help him. We're useless in a fight. At least if we run, we can get. We won't get in the way. This is what Sparky wants. Okay. Brownie kicks open the door to the classroom. Who the hell are you? Um, help! There's a mer. Ah! Oh, Brownie's dead. Hide in the closet. Olive scrambles into the closet. Haha, <laughs> I usually take my time with these things, but nothing's wrong with a little hack and slash. Olive, I don't like this. Oh, she hears cut. Angel, enough. I should have never left. I want to go home. Angel? Olive hears breaking bones. Uh, I know you're in there. Get out. Get out. Angel smashes through the closet door. He grabs Olive's head. You brought him here, and he killed Coco. This is your fault. <laughs> oh god. We got our head ripped off. That's our spine. Ha ha ha. It's over, finally. Well, that's not the ending I wanted, but you made Angel really happy. Okay, so let's quick load back where we were. Um, yeah, right? Okay, cool. Okay, so this is right where, what, what was this? Wait, what do you think, Olive? Okay. I see. Okay, so let's trust... Well, trusting Brownie didn't really work. Let's trust Patches. No. Patches isn't a bad dog. Olive stomps in the opposite direction. Towards whoever's following the group. Olive, wait! Olive walks to the end of the hallway and sees the culprit. Sees that the culprit really is Patches. Olive, you noticed me? Yeah, why are you all the way back here? You can walk with us, you know. I won't let Brownie make fun of you. That's so sweet. I was a little scared of walking all alone. Let's hold paws. Okay. That just takes all his paw on his own. Wait, what? Oh yeah, okay. He grips it hard and pulls Olive down another hallway. Where are we going? I don't really like your friends. You're the only really nice one, so let's hang out somewhere else. But we have a plan to break out of the school. We just need to go to the classroom and we're free. Olive, no one's getting out of here alive. So let's make the most of our time we have together. Uh -huh. Olive struggles to get away. But it's too late. Patches is already cutting it into them. Oh no. Brownie, Sparky. Don't worry, I'll meet up with them later. And tell them how obsessed you were with me. 
to the point of convincing me to go somewhere alone with you, and then killing yourself when I turned you down. The last thing Olive hears is Patch's laughter. Okay. Well, let's do another quick load back to where we were. Okay, so we're gonna trust Brownie. I trust you. Thank you, Olive. Okay, so the last time we ran to the classroom, that didn't go well. So let's go to the bathroom. Okay. To the library. <laughs> to the gym. To the basement. Okay, there's nothing. Go to the classroom. Phew. Looks like we lost him. The glowing drawing from the basement has been redrawn on the chalkboard, which the black stands in front of. Black cat. I'm sorry. Who the hell are you? You're looking for someone, right? Huh? Got anything that belongs to them? We can sniff them out for you. For a price. You're kidding me, right? Why would I trust a bunch of dumb dogs? You're holding all the cards here. You could kill us in an instant with your demon pals, right? We're not in any place to betray you. Uh, just tell us why you're in here. We want to help you. Um... I'm looking for the murder of my little brother. I've been searching for weeks, and I found out that this high school is uh, where they go to. But I have the spirits of the dead to help me. I don't need you. Well, you killed almost every dog in this school trying to find this punk. Looks like you do need some help. So tell us about him. I don't know anything about them. Angel can't remember much about being alive, actually. All he remembers is their voice. What do they say to him? Hello, puppy. Oh, no. Patches? Patches? Do you remember him? The tall, dark, handsome Dalmatian. Kind of stuck up and creepy. Nice and well-mannered. Unless he killed... Unless he killed you, that is. Dot, dot. Yes, I remember now. He was following us here, but I think we lost him. The black cat waves her wand and traps Sparky and Brownie with their magic. What? What are you doing? I'm sorry about this. I just need to make sure you do a good job. If you don't bring Patches back here, or if you die before you can, these two will die as well. What? That's so unnecessary. All of, all of them will die without us there. Psh, this group, this is like a group of mortal dogs would do any better. I'll go with Olive instead. Are you serious? You can't hurt me, and you won't hurt Olive if I'm there. What are you going to do to him? Okay. Please don't hurt him. I don't want to see any more dogs die. Okay. Uh, are you for real? We came all this way and you won't even kill him? It's okay, Coco. I just want to talk to him. Fine. Be careful, Olive. Okay, let's save it. I'll save it right here. Okay. Um, return. Quick save too, just in case. Okay, so we, we need to find him. I think he's probably in the library, right? He isn't here. Uh, okay. <laughs> What's your favorite book? I really like reading. My favorite book is Lord of the Butterflies. Oh, we had to read that for school. They only had dogs on the island, but there's a fan fiction online where the cat ends up on the island too. Not that I read that kind of stuff. It sounds really good. We can read it together sometime. Okay. Okay, it looks like we made a new friend. Uh, bathroom. He's not in here. So. <laughs> Do you like... Okay. Do you like toilet water? <laughs> uh, it's just... I heard cats drink out of the toilet sometimes. I heard dogs do that too. No. The water is cleaner than people think. But I can't drink water as a ghost. I'm sorry. It's okay. One day I'll drink water again. That's a nice thought. Okay. Uh, to the cafeteria. He's not here. Hmm. Okay, um, what's your favorite treat? Savory salmon dishes. Ooh, yum. Wow, that sounds really yummy. I like bacon treats. The kind that looks like plastic. I'm not sure how good they are for you, but I ate a whole bag once. It was one of the best times of my life. If you eat like that, you'll end up like me. Soft and vulnerable enough for someone to murder you. Eh. That wasn't what I thought you were going to say, but it's still upsetting. <laughs> it was a joke. Maybe the delivery was lackluster. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, it was funny. 
There's no need to worry about murder while I'm around. Oh, thank you. Okay. To the gym. He isn't here. Patches. Okay. Um. What do you like to do besides sports? Cooking. Wow, that's amazing. I bet you're really good at it. Maybe after all this, you can cook. I mean, show us how to cook. And by us, I mean brownie and sparky and cocoa and patches. Well, maybe not patches. I think he'll end up in jail or something. But brownie really likes food and sparky really likes hockey. I think he likes hockey. Oh, I'm rambling. I'm just really excited that we have so many friends. Friends? Wow. Oh, okay, let's say it again. Okay, let's go to the basement. He's not here. Maybe he went downstairs. Okay, let's go to the basement then. It's empty. Careful, Olive. The basement door slams shut. <laughs> Hello, puppies. Angel, I never thought we'd meet again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess we both saw this coming. Although, I don't think you were stupid enough to forget what water does to you. Oh no. Olive, why don't you help me out? I know you want out of life. Love, right? Oh, what you want out of life is love. I'll be your boyfriend if you join me. And boyfriends will never murder you. As he's clutching a knife. Ugh. Um, never. You're lying. All you do is lie. Ha <laughs> ha. So perceptive. That was sarcasm. You could have ended like Angel, but now you'll just be another faceless victim who meant nothing to me. That's it. Ah! What? What? Angel? What are you doing? Stop! Hi, Olive. Angel? Did you just... I took from him what he took from me. He can't hurt anyone anymore. I don't know how to feel about this. I'm glad you're okay. Me too. I'll tell Coco to bring the barrier down and we can all leave. Thank you for your help. You made me really happy. Really? Angel, I've spent so time- so long being- oh. Angel, I've spent so long being lonely. I never thought I could make anyone happy. I just wanted someone to be there to make me happy. But I guess people- But I guess making people smile is what makes living worthwhile. I'm so happy I have a bunch of special someones in my life now. Yeah. Let's go. We should all go out for milkshakes. Oh my god. Okay. So everyone survived. You made Angel the happiest. Alright, so... I think we played enough of that game. Um, there may have been other endings, maybe, perhaps. I think we got most of them. Um, so that was weird. It wasn't actually as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Um, just the whole dog dating, dog adventure simulator thing in the description horrified me. Um, but it was fun. And the person put, obviously, a lot of work into it. The drawings are cutesy, but, you know, they're good. Uh, the music is cool, so it was fun. I mean, I'm still a little scared. I'm still a little traumatized, probably. But it was enjoyable. So, um, that was... What was that? Oh, yeah. Perfect Apocalypse. I can't say it. So, if you liked this video that I did, click like. Um, if you like my channel and you haven't done it yet, click subscribe, please, begging you. And, uh, yeah, so I'll be back very soon with more videos. The next one will probably be more on the scarier side. That's what I'm usually going for. Okay, so anyway, um, everybody have a nice weekend. Peace.